Welcome back to the Free Space 2 Game of the Year Edition Single Missions here on Paladin Gaming. We're going third coming. This is Admiral Petrarch, Commanding Officer of the GTD Aquitaine. To all the new pilots arriving on board the Aquitaine, welcome. The Aquitaine was the first of the Hecate destroyers, wouldn't the first one be the GTD Hecate? Brought into service shortly before the Second Great War. The Aquitaine bore the brunt of the fighting against the Sheevans in the Gamma Draconis and Capella systems. We're part of history here, pilot. Two years have passed since the collapsing of the jump nodes leading to Capella. Two years without sight nor sound of the Sheevans. If we, if we have learned anything from our past experiences, it is that we cannot take for granted the recent peace we have enjoyed. At any time, we could be thrust back into the chaos of war. My Petrarch impression probably isn't very good. <laughs> As you probably already know, the scientists who discovered the Nosos portal, which caused the Sheevan incursion into our space for the second time, have begun work on a portal between Delta Serpentis and Sol. The Aquitaine's objective is to oversee construction and neutralize any threat. The biggest source of danger comes from the new, newly resurrected Hammer of Light, because of course. If you have studied the history of the GTVA, you will know that the Hammer of Light is a Vasudan splinter group committed to acts of treasonous terror- committed to acts of terrorism against the GTVA. HOL forces have been seen in several key locations in Delta Serpentis, therefore we will have to be on the lookout. Several errant transmissions have been detected in systems throughout GTVA space, thus we believe the, the HOL is massing for a strike against us. <clears throat> Third coming. At 17.30 hours yesterday, several strange readings were recorded by a science vessel on the edge of the Rossu 128 system. The readings were not wholly conclusive, but indicate some kind of activity in the system. Command thinks that this could be an HOL staging area, so we are sending the Aquitaine to deal with the Renegades. Watch it be Sheevan, because it's Rossu 128. The Aquitaine will arrive in system within the hour. Alpha Wing will recon the area and, if necessary, eliminate hostile vessels. We will not commit the Aquitaine unless it is absolutely imperative. Primary objectives, investigate Ross 128. Because that always goes well. Alright, Arrhenius. Have we got? Yes, we do. And... No, no we are not bringing... Thirsty Kaiser. There we are. We are not bringing, uh... Prom R's on our Arrhenius. So, seems good. Actually, no, it doesn't, because the AI still won't fire, uh... The AI won't fire trebuchets. Alright, let's hit it. Hello! What the hell is that? I think we know. We have a problem here. Those devices are creating subspace vortex similar to the one the Nosos device did. Crystal. That's Irvana. This is a reading massive configuration. The Shiva Irvana Destroyer Command. Get some fire support out here now. It's not blowing up. The core isn't kill destroying the core isn't killing it. We're deploying the Aquitaine. Please stand by. I hope you're not deploying the Aquitaine in front of that thing. Stop that right now. My wingmen are dead. Octane. Alpha wing engage enemy fires will take care of the devices in the Ravager. Beam turrets open fire. Launching Delta Wing now. The Ravager is launching wing of Tarvis. Take them out where they can fire their bombs on the Octane.
gravity is turning around. Subjective neutralized. Oh boy. Well, the Ravager is defanged, mostly. Fortunately, this isn't scroll, which buffs the health of Ravana's four guns considerably. The, uh, they even turned off the ship, the uh, voice. They even, they even turned off the like support from standard lines. Aquitaine is doing crap for the Ravager. We're probably gonna we're probably gonna fail.
Aqua Tank. Gonna use your. Uh, gonna use your main beams. Like anything other than the, than the triple A. Carvies don't seem very set on attacking the aqua tank. Keep hovering around me for some reason. devices for destroy the ravager. So about time you fire an actual beam. I'm going to assume they go up as big as they do when into the lion's den, so I'm going to get way over here. So, two down, two, and a destroyer to go. What are you busy with, support? I guess you're rearming someone from Delta. Ah, Delta Bombers. Okay.
Okay, yeah, this is just turning into a slog. Am I even hitting this thing? Delta, how about you do your bomber job and bomb that uh, destroyer? Oh good, the Aquatane's main beam is coming online. It's actually moving. I'll even defang its anti-fighter weapons for you. Flashing. It's not like I'm not hitting it. Going down, staying clear of the blast. I was heading home, I will return to base. We haven't destroyed the comm devices yet. That com node three. It's the only thing you could possibly be shooting at. But there aren't bombs in theater. There's not anything else to shoot at. It's at least two com nodes. All right. Well. What a poorly designed mission. I guess we're returning to base because these have obviously become vulnerable. Alright. Yeah. Well, we haven't returned to base orders, so hopefully that's it. This, this, this uh, mission is, uh, huh. Your incompetence has left the lives of millions in jeopardy, pilot. You're stripped of all ranks and privileges. A dozen of these devices are not so You'll be transferred to a freighter depot at Antares, where you can spend your remaining days uh, piloting a Triton. Unfortunately, the fate of our civilization now hangs in the balance. Scientists have taken dozens of these devices within Ross 128. All is more than Ikea and Laramus. The third Steven invasion is apparently upon us, a war which we have little chance of winning. The hammer of light pales in significance when compared with the new new threat. We have no recommendations. So, 28 total kills, 3 assists, 14 Maras, 5 Astaros, and 9 Tarfies. Yeah, um, I don't understand what I was supposed to do there. I mean, obviously, obviously kill the devices, but they wouldn't take damage, and if there are hundreds more anyway, then we uh, whatever. Anyway, so this was Third Coming, the uh, 12th mission of the single missions from the Free Space 2 Game of the Year edition here on Paladin Gaming. 
Uh, this is Paladin Gaming signing off.